Hello and welcome to another video by PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and this video is going to do the Math Learning Center app GeoBoards or show how GeoBoards can help build uh, uh, an understanding of some geometric kind of concepts. And one of those geometric concepts is this idea of lines of symmetry. Uh, the line of reflection, if you will, the line that allows uh, one half of a figure to be reflected about that, that line and um, be represented on the other side of the line. Of course, we have axis of symmetry that we talk about later on, lines of symmetry, lines of reflection, um, reflection lines. So there's many names that we give this, and we want to allow students to explore this concept and uh, one thing that we can do is we can just create any kind of figure or have students create any kind of figure that they would like um, so here's a figure that we would like and we can create a line of symmetry with our app so here's a line of symmetry our white line and we want to reflect the red piece about that white line and create a line um, uh, a reflection or a, a, a figure that has a line of symmetry and so we can take our wonderful figure here and we can reflect it about that line and thus creating another a figure here a trapezoid as it were um, that has a line of symmetry uh, about that which you can see in the middle that red line or that white line is a line of symmetry where the left side reflects about that line to create the right side and uh, this what I just did here just models, you know, reflection of a of a figure about a line of symmetry. And one thing that you want to do is you want to have students first understand what it is to be a line of symmetry, a reflection line, and then given a shape, can they find those lines of symmetry, those lines of reflection? And in this case, there are many. Here's one. There's two. Here's three. And then here's four. So I have four lines of symmetry here to where it, the shape itself, if I were to draw this line, let's take this one in particular, then everything on the right side of my line can be reflected over to the left side of my line. And same thing for the one in the middle where the top half can be reflected about and down to the bottom half. So we delete these and we explore a little bit farther we create another shape and we say does this shape have a line of symmetry at any point in time can I draw a line on this shape that will establish a reflection and in this case this looks like a line of reflection but it's not the left side of that line does not reflect about to get to the right side if my shape were here that would be a line of reflection but my shape is not there it is here so we can move our white line around and we can say well does that create a line of symmetry no does this create a line of symmetry no does this one create a line of symmetry no no and through exp exploration we find that this shape does not have any lines of symmetry but this shape does here's a line of symmetry and some would think is that a line of symmetry no it's not so it's not this only has one line of symmetry so creating figures and allowing students to explore lines of symmetry with those figures is very important and early understanding of spatial reasoning, geometry and spatial reasoning and using a geo board and allowing them with rubber bands to create shapes that have lines of symmetry. You can say create a shape that has two lines of symmetry, create a shape that has three lines of symmetry. Later on you can do things with regular polygons and find out how many lines of symmetry they have and then find mathematical models that help predict if a shape has 153 sides, it's a regular polygon, how many lines of symmetry does it have? And so these are very important aspects in mathematics where you can connect geometry with algebra, you get into trigonometry, you get into analytic geometry so that the, the foundation, the foundation that is explored in elementary schools doing lines of symmetry like this can be expanded and explored later on in high school and in college. So uh, it's very important you should allow use technology like iPad to get students engaged and interactive and doing concepts such as these in the teaching of mathematics. So uh, again I'm Professor Lamb and I thank you for watching this is PyPad Mathematics.